Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. Good morning, good morning, you guys. Just to come tell you about this morning. Three o'clock. I'm on my knees. I'm praying. I'm asking God to give me clear, clear, clear understanding of the decision. Make sure that I'm making the right decision. You know, I don't make no decisions unless I triple check with him. I need clear, clear understanding that what I'm doing is, is the right thing. That I'm not, me saying that I'm not going back. That it's not good to go back to your past. None of that. Listen, y'all. Three lightnings. Boom, boom, boom. Back to back strike. And I hear clear as day. Do not go back. Tell them do not go back. It is a setup if they return back to their past. I say, Lord Jesus, listen. I say, Lord, I just love you. I thank you, Lord, for confirming it. Because I know, God, what you've been telling me. I know you've been telling me. Tell them don't go back. Don't go back to the past. They're going to get themselves hurt. Don't go back to the past. The past is setting them up. Don't go back to the past. They're going to lose everything. Don't go back to the past. It's not going to work out. Don't go back to the past. Don't go back to the past. That's all I've been hearing. Don't go back to the past. Don't go back to the past. So, yeah, I don't know who this message is for, but I want y'all to know this. Something greater is coming for you guys. If you just would hold on to God's unchanging hand and let him work it out for you. Let him bring in who he needs to bring in for you because something better is coming. Something or someone better is coming. But y'all have to hold on. Hold on and wait to get what he's trying to give you. Because he's trying to bless you. He's going to bless you. You just have to wait and hold on for that blessing. And I know sometimes... Us as people, we are so impatient. We want what we want when we want it. But God wants us to be patient and hold on and wait on him and what he has for us. We have to wait. We have to be patient and wait on God. Because what he has for us is way better than what we want for ourselves. He knows the plan for us. He knows. He knows how our life will be. He knows. We got to stop trying to rush everything. We got to stop trying to be in control of everything. And just wait patiently upon the Lord. Wait for the Lord to to order and direct our path. Wait on the Lord to have us which way to go. Wait on the Lord to tell us which way he wants us to go to this job. Which way he wants us to go to this. Which way he wants us to go to that. We have to wait on the Lord. Constantly wait on the Lord to see what he's going to do for us and how he's going to do it for us. Continue to press forward and continue to do the things that God has called us to do. Because God has called us to do some mighty things. And that's what we have to do. Wait. Continuously wait on God and what he has us to do, y'all. Be patient and wait on God. Listen, greater days, better days are coming. You just have to be patient and wait on God. Well, it's your girl, Bree, signing out. Peace.